um, got some Yuli and some more Algo, and I got some Akita. What's good, y'all? It's C. Will, and this is the Passive Income Network. On this channel, we talk about creating assets that produce passive income. Make sure y'all hit that like button, leave a comment below, and say what's good. This video is about how to use AlgoFi for staking Tiny Man LPs and a warning when using leverage. Y'all, leverage, margin, whatever you want to call it. When you're borrowing money against your assets or borrowing money in generally, whether it's a 0% APY or 2%, 7, 12, or 8, be careful and make sure that that money you do borrow you invest into some assets that produce passive income. Okay, y'all. AlgoFi is a new product on Algorand protocol, the Algorand blockchain. This AlgoFi application allows users to stake crypto and then borrow against that crypto using leverage or what we call margin. Um, and again, you have there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, opportunities there on the algo five for things. So I'm gonna pull it up on the screen. And again, this is for the advanced traders out here, the advanced crypto investors, passive income investors. Okay, let's see, we'll move this here. Okay, let me make that smaller for y'all. Um, so this is algo five. Um, right now, there's a total supply of 23113444 and then people have borrowed $7 million. Um, so about a third of the total staked on there has been borrowed out. Um, I supplied here, you can see the APR of what I supplied. I supplied over a thousand algos and then a, a few hundred uh, USDC. And uh, you can see over here to the right side, I borrowed 150 USDC, 850, which equals $1,000 worth of assets at the APY of 2.24%. And I'm earning at 2.1%. So barely, almost essentially, we'll say a 0% loan. And then we got all our assets, Algo, Stable, USDC, GoBTC, and GoEF. Um, again, let's talk about some of these warnings here. When borrowing USDC, y'all, I've seen people borrow USDC in the APR, the uh, APR of what they're borrowing has went all the way up to about 20%. So be very careful when borrowing USDC. Um, it is best I learned to borrow stable because when you borrow stable, um, you get a 2% um, APY that doesn't change. It's an easy asset to go buy and swap out later to pay back. But there are limits there when using stable. Okay, uh, so like again here, if I want to go to borrow or repay, you see the tabs here. It has all the information you need. The max I can borrow right now is another forty-nine stable. That's how much available. Sometimes it says zero because people have borrowed stable. So what this means, people have paid stable back. They don't let you go to the moon with it. Um, and again, same. Uh, I can't supply any more algo because this market has exceeded the allowable cap. The cap must be raised or user funds must be withdrawn before you can proceed. Okay, so I'm leaving my algos in there. They're earning 2.53%. Um, I have a borrow limit, which I've already used up. And then you can, like I said, easily withdraw. I won't do that there. Uh, same goes with UFD, USDC. I'm earning 1% right now. Um, I don't have any more, but that's what pops up in your wallet and you can do withdraw. So this part is pretty simple, but just again, be careful when y'all using leverage, right? And I'll tell you what I did with my leverage in a second, but we have staking pools here. This is a staking, you get 5.51% staking stable for stable. This is a similar format to you, Lou, if you watch any of my videos, this is a similar format to you. You do max there and you can unstake, right? And this one is for when you're in tiny man, you did a liquidity pool. It's the same uh, type of idea. You stake your LP tokens, which will you get from doing a liquidity pool, right? And then you get tokens and then you stake them here, stable USDC LP. And then they have all the information. This pool pays rewards and stable for staking tiny man stable USDC LP tokens. 
You can again click more uh, docs.algify.org protocol algo stable has all the information there. I would highly recommend y'all go read up on this site and get all the information that you need. Okay. Uh, so back to what I did with the money here, USDC and stable. So I borrowed a thousand out thousand dollars against my cryptocurrency. So I borrowed a thousand dollars. And what I did is I allocated the money in a couple of different places. So for security, I put 72 algos or 72 algos back into my collateral pool to boost my collateral. And this is when um, algos was around a dollar thirty, which means I borrowed when algo was at the bottom and now it's back up on the rise. So smart move. And then I also um, got some yieldly and some more algo and I got some Akita. And then what I did was put a Akita algo pool, a yearly algo pool, and then I staked some yieldly. And then again, I got some algos. So as of right now, I'm up $50 on this. And what this means is that over time through the compounding, I could see that my borrowed money will eventually double and or triple, right? If the market blows up, I wait long enough and then I'll pay back my loan. And that means I have a flip. And another, like I said, caution of warning, as you see here with the, uh, if you can see this, the utilization, my borrow utilization is up high. Um, a general credit card, right? You would want it under 30%, under 20%. I have it at 58, roughly to 60% is because like I said, again, I bought algos when it was cheaper knowing that it was going to go up so that as it rises, my collateral shrinks. I also bought um, a lot of USDC to stabilize my collateral, my supply collateral. So that way I don't, you know, ruin it by going under and getting liquidated. So make sure y'all read about, again, what liquidation means, all the asset parameters, the collateral factor, liquidity caps. Like this is very, very important because essentially what we're doing here is borrowing money and then we're investing it into other assets in the hopes that the asset that we invested in outweighs the US dollar that we borrowed. And that's the game right there, essentially. So, you know, again, something to really think about when we're using leverage, you know what I'm saying? Um, again, please leave a comment below if you have used Algify, you have any more questions, talk to me, you know, see Will with the Passive Income Network. I am coming. Thank you.